If you own a boat here in Hawaii, you are likely going to be facing higher insurance rates this year. Eric Nacton has more. Boat owners in Hawaii are facing escalating insurance rates. Boats being abandoned, along with other concerns, are contributing factors toward mandates in increased prices. Unfortunately, there's been a, quite a few bad eggs lately um, that have ran their vessels aground, and the state of Hawaii does become liable to remove those vessels. Just the way that they've gone about uh, the such short notice to get make these large changes to abide by the rules so we can continue being uh, tenants with our vessel here at the Alawai, um, you know, that we got a very large, um, a very large substantial increase. Over five years ago, uh, the statute was added requiring uh, all boaters with a vessel of 26 feet or greater in length to carry wreck removal in case the boat sinks or grounds. It wasn't until Recently, we've had a rash of groundings, and then the insurance companies were not paying for the wreck removal. That's what prompted us to look into the policies um, and to notify boaters. The requirement is a minimum of $100,000 in wreck removal. Here on this island, it's very difficult to get boat insurance. You have to really read the policy to see what the coverage says. We're asking them to please have their insurance company state on the certificate of insurance that wreck removal is covered in the policy. Island News reached out to State Farm. A representative shared this statement saying, we're seeing premium increases for personal lines boat insurance due to inflation and the increased cost to repair and replace parts, increased cost of labor, and higher cost for new boats. Accidents and thefts are also on the rise. Eric Nacton, Island News.